Well, each year, thousands and thousands of people turn to that one place where they can get an honest answer on how to cook that Thanksgiving Day turkey. Now, I'm not talking about your mother. I'm talking about the Butterball Turkey Hotline. And Sue is with us right now. Good morning, Sue. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hey, Sue, before I ask any questions, let's give our listeners a little history on the Butterball Turkey Hotline. Sure. You know, the talk line has been here for 35 years as of this year. And, you know, you think of Thanksgiving, you think of celebration and tradition. And we're really celebrating and embracing that this year. We have a throwback Thanksgiving theme going on. And we're posting some of our old pictures and photos and favorite retro recipes, so to speak, online. And we really want the callers and listeners to go to Butterball.com and post some of their favorite throwback Thanksgiving memories. There's the sweepstakes you'll get entered into by posting a photo. And it's been really fun to see what's up there so far. Sounds interesting, and I know we all have memories of Thanksgiving's past. Sue, for people who are interested in calling and maybe have some questions, what are the hours of the Butterball Turkey line and the dates that it's running and such? Of course, we're here through December 24th, but obviously the weekend before Thanksgiving, we're here all week of Thanksgiving, and even on Thanksgiving Day, we're here for 12 hours. You can give us a call at 1-800-BUTTERBALL, you can go to butterball.com, you can email us, live chat, the social media site, really how, whatever the easiest way to reach us is we are available. 1-800-BUTTERBALL is the number, and Sue, as we get ready here for the bird on Thursday, take us through the preparation of getting your turkey ready for Thanksgiving dinner. So, you know, go ahead and get your turkeys, and you're going to want to start thawing it um, sooner than later. It takes about one day for every four pounds of turkey to completely defrost. If you have a 16-pound turkey, for example, you're looking at a good four days, and that's 24-hour days. Make sure it's completely defrosted and put your oven at 325 degrees. Brush that breast with some vegetable oil and that will give it that nice golden brown color while it's in the oven. And then just put it in the oven as is. About two-thirds of the way through, grab some Reynolds oil and lightly shield or tent the top of that breast. And that's going to prevent the breast from getting overdone while you're waiting for the thigh meat to get up to temperature. And Sue, can you give our listeners a tip or two on how to make the turkey a little juicier? Some people like their turkey really juicy. They do. You know, the best way is to use that meat thermometer. You know, it dries out if you keep the turkey in there too long. So when that thigh meat reaches 180, the breast meat reaches 170, you know your turkey's done and take it out of the oven. That and using that little uh, Reynolds foil towards the end really are two key factors on having a very tender and moist turkey. And so what's the Butterball Turkey Hotline stance on stuffing? Inside the bird, outside the bird? Any recommendations for that? Whatever your tradition is and whatever you like. You know, if you're going to stuff it, just make sure you prepare the stuffing and stuff the turkey right before it goes in the oven. And use that meat thermometer, like I said, 165 in the center of the stuffing, and it's a great way to prepare your turkey. I'm going to back up for just a second. You were talking about defrosting the turkey. When, when you take the turkey out of the freezer, obviously when you're defrosting, you want to put it in the refrigerator for four days, right, if it's a 16 pound. Absolutely, yeah. Always keep it cold, so either in your refrigerator and keep it in the original wrapper, you know, keep it press side up, and put it on a tray or platter of some sort. Put it in your refrigerator and let it be. Yeah, you can also do it in cold water, so maybe you forgot or you're running out of time. That's a quicker way, and it takes about 30 minutes per pound. And again, just keep it in the original wrapper. You can put it press side down in your kitchen sink with cold water over it. Like I said, that'll be a quicker way to do it if you're running out of time. That's the old-fashioned way. That's why we used to defrost things before microwaves, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, as far as, and I know Butterball makes fresh turkeys. Well, if you get a fresh turkey, how long can you wait before, you know, keep it in the refrigerator before you should cook that? You know what, you can go out and get fresh turkeys now. They'll be certainly fine to be held for Thanksgiving. They all will have a sell-by, use-by date on there. So take a look at that date. Make sure it's Thanksgiving you're on. It's really even good for about four days past that date. So it's certainly fine to get one now. Uh, we have new technology, obviously. Sue, you had mentioned in the beginning of the interview um, that you can chat now. And is there an app available, too? There is. There's a Butterball Cookbook Plus. It's an app that... Uh, for apples and android it's free and it's got a lot of tips recipes and a lot of great leftover recipes so it's a really fun one to have on your phone uh, a go-to after the holiday i'm sure that is a good one to have and sue if i could get you to go over the hours of operation in the butterball turkey hotline number one more time again a lot of people like that human touch absolutely we're here every day we're here um for central time we're six to six that's on thanksgiving day and all week and it's 1-800-BUTTERBALL. Sue, so thank you so much for talking with us this morning. We really appreciate it. The Butterball Turkey Hotline has, has been a staple for many years, and I hope people will continue to call, and we thank you so much for all your advice. Oh, thank you so much, too, and have a happy Thanksgiving. You too. Thanks again, Sue.